I recently finished building my bookcase here, and when I painted the back, well, I made it the same color as the front and the sides, which is what I normally do. But my wife, Lynn, was looking through a magazine, and she saw a bookcase very similar to this, with the back painted an accent color. And we thought, you know what? That could look really good in this room. Lynn and I love this lamp, and we love this color green. We thought it would look great, possibly, as an accent color on the bookcase. The question was, though, what shade of green? Well, there's plenty of natural green around this part of the country for inspiration, and I get to take it in every time I head over to the Home Improvement Center. With all the foliage fresh in my mind, I start looking through the paint chips and decide to pick three slightly different shades of green, with the thought that one of them will be just what we're looking for. A quarter of each will let me do a test before I commit to a color. Back at the shop, I paint three sample panels, let them dry, then take them inside. Now, I'll admit, I'm a bit challenged when it comes to visualizing colors from a small chip. Making larger samples like this really helps, and it also lets me see the colors under different lighting conditions. So these are the three colors I picked out. What do you think? Um, I think they're all pretty. I think I definitely have a preference though for the middle one. I think this one over here, it's a little too strong, and when it gets dim out, it may actually look a little too dark. And that one looks a little too pale to me, doesn't really have enough contrast. You took the words right out of my mouth, you know? The color expert that I am, I said, that's it right there, right? Actually, well, I kind of bracketed it so we'd have some, some uh, leeway on either side. But no, I think you're right. I think you're right. You know, and the thing is, when I uh, put these on the beadboard, it's just because I had beadboard lying around. I used it for material. I actually kind of like the look of that, that kind of the stripe, the texture back there. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking instead of painting the back of the bookcase, Maybe what I'll do is I'll just cut panels out of that and paint the panels and just put them in there, just tack them in. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Yeah. With the color selection made, I get to work painting the beadboard, which I've cut to size. To attach the panels, I'm using just a few small brads, nailing mostly around the edges. This way, I have fewer nail holes to fill and an easier time removing the panels if later on I want to go for a different look. I really like the way this looks. It's added a nice accent to the room, and I'm really glad I did the color samples because I think we picked a really good one here. And you know what? If I get tired of this, I can just pop those panels out. 